<clears throat> My name is Alexander Schremmer, and I want to talk to you about Tinkerforge Bricks. The mic is too. Okay. Tinkerforge Bricks. No, I didn't say slide. Oh. Sorry, that uh, was the audience. Yes. 15 more seconds it, for you. <laughs> it is an open source hardware building block project, and everything here is open source or open hardware license on a CERN open hardware license. And it was started by two friends of mine. Slide, please. So, electronics can be exhausting. For example, microcontroller programming can be very hard. If you get timing problems or size problems, your code doesn't fit in there. Or if you want to debug a breadboard, like in the lower left, then you might hit the wrong wires or connect them and end up with something which is very tedious to debug. Or if you want to solder, you need to read complex data sheets if you, don't, if you want to make a new circuit. So in the end, uh, to, to end up with such complex projects, you need to do a lot of things and you um, need to learn a lot. But um, sometimes you only want to program, you want to make something, and that's where I think Forge Bricks come into play. Slide, please. So the idea is to have, um, to have bricks like in the upper middle uh, part of the picture. These bricks can be combined into a stack and then you can connect other things to these bricks. So let's have an example slide, please. Here we have a motor driver. We're connected to a motor and a power supply unit. And uh, now imagine that this motor driver is connected to a computer. And this computer is running some small program, like two lines of code. And these two lines of code in C Sharp, Python, Java, whatever, or C, would uh, actually drive this motor and control it. So you actually need a connection to the system, to the computer. Slide, please. So you can also add a potent poti, rotary poti here to control the motor uh, more, more complexly. And this would add maybe one line of code in your, in your piece of code. Slide, please. You can also stack these bricks, and then you end up with um, uh, more complex systems. And why would we want to do so? Um, slide, please. We um, combine these bricks together on two sides, and these could talk on a wireless connection, which is a derivative of Zigbee, which is called Chibi. And uh, so you connect the left stack to the computer and turn the poti, the program is running on the computer, and then it controls the second stack, which is lying somewhere in the room. So this is one central idea of this whole concept. Slide, please. More information is available on www.tinkerforge.org or send an email to me. I, will, I can also um, demo the stuff. I'm in the hack center at the Moin Moin table. I have a few bricks and bricklets with me. And if you want to order some, um, there is a rebate code here. Um, it gives you 5% off. And uh, I asked my friends to give, give out this code to get, um, to get more traction, maybe to get more interest, yeah. It's only valid from January 1st. Thank you for your attention. Uh, you have a minute and 37 seconds left for questions, and I think you have a question right there. Um, question, is it open hardware? Uh, again, please. Is it open hardware? Yes, it's open hardware as, as in CERN license, so you can get uh, schematics and uh, um, the layout files and stuff. Another, another question? Okay, great. One last round of applause.